So what I'm realizing is that what we're up to at the School for Embodied Leadership is something very sophisticated. There's a lot of coaching models out there, a lot of leadership trainings that are all about how to get big, how to expand and be powerful and fill the space and go for your big vision and all of that, which is awesome. But it can be really exhausting to actually live that way. And it's generally not sustainable because a lot of times that thing that drives us is a fragmented part. It's some part of our psyche that is trying to reclaim our right to be ourselves and is trying to be as awesome as we really are. And it's true, but that part comes with a lot of pressure and it creates a lot of inner tension. And it invariably creates this kind of back and forth struggle. And then there's a model that's more the feminine model or sometimes with trauma work or other somatic work that's a lot about relaxation and how to just settle into yourself and be at ease in your body and how to be with your breath and cuddle with the cat and relate with other people in a very juicy, yummy way, which is awesome. Um, but sometimes that lacks the joy and the fire of expansion. And what we're looking for is the organic self, the true self that has access to all these realms. We're looking for that place inside that is so okay with being who you are and knowing who you are and what you're about that you can be just really relaxed on a Saturday afternoon with your friends or your cat or the sun or whatever. And you can pull yourself into a much broader, bigger leadership role when it's appropriate. You can fill a room if that's what you want to do, right? You can teach, you can speak, you can express yourself in the world wholeheartedly. And that in all cases, you get the wholeness of you. You get to be all of you. And that's a much trickier thing to teach and a much trickier thing to get really embodied in people. As an idea, it's cool, but how do we actually live that way? How do we actually do that in our body, with our breath, moment to moment in our life, in a really unique way? That's what I'm interested in.